Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for after like nine months of not making videos but we're back at it again with a new video today I wanted to remake the GFX tutorial I hope you guys like it before this video starts don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you like this video comment below your thoughts if you want to see more content you can always follow my other social media platforms they will be listed in my description below so our first step obviously is to go to roblox studio you can either choose a base plate classic base plate whatever it does not matter now the first step is to i want to download the load character light you can go to plugins over here and go to load character and you can load the character that you want for your gfx be sure you click this over here it's called spawn out origin it will um, make your character spawn right in the middle. Now that you have your character here in Roblox Studio, our next step is to save the files for our character. So the first thing you want to do is go onto your character and click on the arrow. So we're going to save the hat icons and export selection. Once you export selection, if you are on a Mac, just be careful. Change your destination to a document on your computer and not to your actual volume. And now we're gonna save the rest of the um, character. So let's save the left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, and torso. Okay, now that your file is completely saved, now it's time to go to Blender. In Blender, you will see this rig, and I will list all the rigs in the description below for anyone who wants to use them. The first step that you want to do is click on the torso of the rig, and make sure that you click on the circle over here to be the shaded version of it. Click over here on main texture and click on this little thing and click on use file from current directory. Now click it again and then go to where you saved your texture file on your desktop and usually it's going to be named handle or the username of your character. Open that up and now your character might not have a face that's because the rigs automatically put a face in them to fix this all you have to do is delete all of these nodes over here and if it goes gray just connect the color from the main texture to the base color of the principled bsdf our next step is to add our accessories as you can see the character is kind of bald now so we have to add our accessories onto this to do this you want to go to file import and wavefront obj and go to desktop or wherever you saved your documents for your accessories and find that um document please make sure that over here in the name when you click on it it's an obj file and not mtl now that you have your accessories imported they should be in place by the way now you can start posing for your character it is very easy to click on these lines around your rig and go over here to object mode and change it to pose mode now these lines will have different types of colors like red, yellow, and blue. And now once you click on the rotate over here, you can rotate these to your liking. I'm going to post my character and I will be right back. Okay, now I post my character and I will be adding one of these effects on the GFX. If you haven't noticed yet, I am dressing up as one of the waterbenders from Avatar The Last Airbender and um, The Legend of Korra, obviously. So I'm going to be adding a waterbend effect onto this um, GFX. The next step is actually adding ambient occlusion in Blender 4.1. It is kind of different to add ambient occlusion onto your GFX. Click on one of the limbs of your character and you want to expand your node editor menu over here. This is where you control basically the textures. Over here, we're going to do something that it's kind of confusing, but it's pretty simple. You're going to go to add and add um, the node ambient occlusion. You could just type it and pop up a search bar for you. Also add the node color ramp, add the node. It's called mix shader over here. You want to drag the shader to the surface of the material output. As you can see, it went all black. It's okay. Texture is still there. Uh, what you want to do is click from the principled bsdf bsdf to shader now what you want to do is go from ambient occlusion color to fac and from color from the color ramp to fac on the mix shader what's going on over here is that the ambient occlusion is connected to a color ramp this color ramp will control where the shadows are 
at the intensity of the shadows. So as you can see, the shadows are inverted right now. So all we have to do is just change where the where these go. And now all the body parts will have ambient occlusion. If you want to change the intensity, you just have to, if you move the white closer to the black, as you can see, there is a lot of shade on that. If you move it further away, there's less shade on that. Um, I will use some shade on this. I think it does add a cool effect, but that's basically it for ambient occlusion. And now our last step for the tutorial is to add a camera to, onto our workspace. So if you want to do, if you want to change the camera resolution, you can just come over here to your properties and to output and change the camera resolution to your liking. In the, in the same place, you want to go to output and make sure you have the file format PNG, color RGBA, color depth 16, and that's about it for this place. In the render, which is the one that looks like a little TV, make sure that your render engine is cycles or it will look very much different from the beginning anyways. Then um, you want to go to sampling and change your max samples to maybe 128 by 128 over here and click on denoise over here as well. Um, if you do want a translucent background, go to film and transparent click on that and it'll make your background transparent our last step now is to render this so um we could get our scene rendered um to move the camera freely by the way you could do shift and the squiggly line right next to the um number one i will show it on the screen um and now to render it click on render and render image i will come back once it's all rendered all right you guys so now my gfx is done if you have followed this very video through i am so proud of you you have created possibly your first gfx if not um if this is your second time great job because <laughs> there's more steps now because of blender updates and it gets tedious but i hope you guys found this video very helpful i hope you learned something new bye bye